All right guys, Chris here with Rack Up and Go, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to integrate your Arco Zeus into your Victron touch display and have these two talking to each other so you get the exact charge profile your batteries are looking for. Without further ado, let's get into it. We're gonna start with an RJ45 cable coming from the CAN bus port on the Zeus, and that's gonna be going into our VE CAN port on our Servo GX. We're gonna pull open our app, click on View Device, go into our settings, enter in our pin, head on down to regulator, and we're going to choose sync mode, and we're going to set that to Victron GX N2K. We're going to save that. And we should see that slowly update on the battery volts and battery amps, as well as the battery temperature. All right, guys, so in order to get the information over to the Zeus so that you can see the battery volts and the amps, we're gonna come in here to our settings. We're gonna scroll down to services. We're gonna take a look at VE CAN port. And then we're gonna take a look at our settings here. We're gonna check NMEA 2000 out. We're gonna enable that. We're gonna take a look at our CAN bus profile. We wanna see VE CAN and Lynx Ion BMS, 250 kilobits per second here. We click on our devices. We should see My Arco Zeus right here. If you're not seeing this, try rebooting the Victron system. And when it reboots, this should populate up here in this list. And then now when we come back out and we go to overview, we should see an alternator tile here. If we click on this, this will give us the information from our Arco Zeus showing our output our vehicle's currently off, but our alternator temperature at 107 degrees, um, and it'll just show you kind of the, the state. So you'll see engine speed, and then there's our options there. So, um, and we'll come back to the app. Okay, back in the app, we're gonna come back out to our main screen here. We can see we have a battery temp of 73 degrees, uh, battery volts of 13.3, which matches our touch display and looks like we're negative 0.5 amps which also matches our Victron display so our information from the battery is coming across and you can see up here we have standby where it does show DVCC uh, and in order if you're not seeing DVCC you can go into the settings and we will scroll down to alternator and then scroll down to enable Alt shunt. You want to have that toggled on and then you should see the DVCC. So an alternator shunt on the positive line is required if you're going to be using DVCC. Uh, and that's, but that's how you're going to see that option. And then the battery is essentially going to be requesting exactly what it's looking for in terms of a charge profile. All right, guys, that wraps up our integration with the Arco Zeus into our Victron energy screen here. You can see we've got our alternator showing zero watts, so everything's buttoned up and complete there. If you have any questions, please give us a call 888-929-3149, or you can email us at customercare at rackupgo.com. And remember, life's an adventure, rack up and go.